Hey guys, Charles Amiano back from the Bruce Lee collection in part two of his featuring of screen jumbo magazines that came out of Japan. In this part two issue, I'm gonna be featuring this item, another screen jumbo magazine that came out in spring of 1974. Again, featuring Bruce Lee on the cover in his psychedelic flowered shirt that uh, people used to wear in the early 70s and late 60s. Great shot of him from the big boss uh, up in the corner here showing his form as well as his famous flying kick here from the big boss and again as we mentioned in the first episode the beauty of these magazines is they're oversized 11 by 14 they're picture magazines on Bruce Lee and I'm gonna flip this one for you guys we're gonna flip through it so you can see the beautiful pictures in this magazine as well so this one starts off with Bruce Lee sitting against uh, his red Mercedes in the background styling in his uh, full tan suit from the early 70s here you have him uh, again with the flowered shirt that they featured on the cover here's a nice shot of him in the big boss superheroes, super villains, and super movies, but there has never been anything like karate and kung fu. <laughs> and Bruce Lee, he's the man with the fists of fury. And look how beautiful these pages are in full color. And as I mentioned, some of these pages have poster magazines that either come out of the magazine or are embedded into the magazine like this one. So this one's actually in the magazine, but you can open it up into a beautiful poster. And these were some of the bonus items that came out of these beautiful magazines that were put out by Japan. This is a great shot of Bruce from Way of the Dragon. And then the other side of this poster is another shot of him, full length shot of Bruce Lee from Way of the Dragon just before the famous fight scene with Chuck Norris and these were great because these were like bonus items that you got out of these beautiful magazines as then I flip through we'll see if there's a few more of these in the magazine so again full picture of Bruce in his suit just styling some more shots of him this must have been a photo shoot that he did in the either late 60s early 70s looks like the early 70s here's another full shot of him with his flowered shirt on. Again, going into some black and white photos now from Bruce and Enter the Dragon. And these are just really special magazines seeing Bruce on the full page. And in the early 70s, like I said, you didn't really see many of these magazines coming out. I'm gonna to try to get some to some better pictures here. Bruce from Big Boss. Here's some other actors featured from the early 70s in this issue. You got Jim Kelly. Featured on this page with Fred Williamson, and here goes Bruce again from Fist of Fury. Some more color photos of Bruce Lee. This is a great one of Bruce in the school on the bottom, in that famous school scene where he featured the nunchucks for the first time and he took on the entire Japanese school. Here you got him in the school just prior to beating up the entire Japanese school. Here's another shot of him, Way of the Dragon, and here's another poster that opens up. Look at this beauty. From Chinese Connection, full poster, another bonus bonus feature in this magazine of Bruce Lee from Chinese Connection. And on the opposite side, who didn't like this shot of Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris from Way of the Dragon. And as a kid, these are the kind of things that you would sometimes take out of the magazines, unfortunately, ruin the magazine just so that you can frame this and put this on your wall, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have done just like I have done, but I left these in the magazine. And again, some more great shots of Bruce Lee from Way of the Dragon with Chuck Norris. Another shot of Way of the Dragon. And as you flip through, more famous shot scenes of him and Chuck. And then a nice collage of photos here from Bruce Lee and all his films and a beautiful portrait of Bruce Lee. And again, a lot of these back cover issues were really great also. Here goes a back cover of The Big Boss in full feature on the back of the uh, issue as well. So not only did you get beautiful front covers, but you also had some beautiful images of Bruce uh, on the back cover. So again, I hope you enjoyed this second item that was featured from my collection of Screen Jumbo magazines. I have about 
15 to 20 of them in my collection. I'm not going to feature all of them, but we will do a three part series and you'll see the third uh, item that I'm going to feature uh, in the next episode. So for now, once again, Charles Damiano signing off from the Bruce Lee collection saying have fun collecting. Thank you.